Cobra guys, I got this sixth generation 2023 Nissan Altima. Sixth generation that will be from 2023 to 2024. And I'm gonna show you real quick how to do the oil change in this baby and how to reset the oil life too. Alright guys, before I jump into the action, you know what to do. If you want to support the channel right below, there's a heart, that's a super tense. Click on it, go through it, do your thing, show your love. That's, that's a return of kindness, you know what I'm saying? And don't forget, like, share, comment. Anything you want to say about this car, put it in the comment box. Alright? So, we come down here. This is how you open the hood. Just pull it like that, once. Then I come here to the middle, here's the latch. Right here's the kickstand. You're gonna need it though because it doesn't hold by itself, so you're gonna have to put the kickstand here. This is a 2023 2.5 liter engine, pow in your face. Engine oil cap, right? Oil dipstick, radiator cap. Engine L filter, fuse bots, fuse bots, battery, brake fluid reservoir, motherboard, alternator, windshield fluid reservoir, coolant reservoir. This is the port for the AC if you ever want to refill it. This one and this one, okay. O2 sensor. Huh. Okay. ABS. Okay, let's get let's do this oil. oil uh, let's drain the oil. <sighs> right, right here where everything is beautiful, ABS. Same thing. This, this is easy to do without the scanner and with the scanner. Right. You see this bolt right here, the Allen? It has another one on the other side. Just remove those. Okay, remove the ABS, put it to the side. You're gonna see a, a groove, kind of like that though. You're gonna put your heads for torque in there and turn it all the way to uh, clockwise, all the way, and then push the piston. Once you're done installing the, the brake pads, put, put this, mount it, put it back, put the bolts back, and that's pretty much it. Right. No biggie, same old, same old. Resonator. Okay, O2. Okay. 2023. Alright. Front brakes. Nothing crazy. Now you see this cover, we're gonna have to remove this cover. Clip, 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 clip. I'm gonna, I'm gonna remove. I'm not gonna remove these clips though. Okay. Just this ones. Cause I'm gonna fold this cover. I'm gonna fold it. I'm gonna fold it back. Okay. And yeah, pretty much. Let's do this. It's fine. You see a difference? I one is wider, open wide open, the other one is narrow. I'm gonna use this one. I like it better. Okay. Another clip over here, another clip over here. You saw the clips. One over here. Uh, yeah, this one too. This one over here, that will be that will be the last one. I just fold this, like I said. Hold it with a bungee cord. And that should do it. So in total, will be three sits. Eight clips.
you have eight clips over there. Okay. Now you come over here. Oil drain plug. And the oil filter right there. Okay. What else will we see down here? That's pretty much it. I want to say this is electric steering, brake and pinion. This is the AC compressor, transmission oil pan, oil cooler. Right? See the fan over here, radiator hose. Uh, let's do this oil change. Huh? I think we're gonna need a 14 millimeter socket or wrench for that. Right, 14 millimeter. Just like that. Easy. Get your drain container ready. Ready to go. Kind of scared because I don't want to get my my camera wet. I'm gonna back it up a little bit. Never mind. I'm good here. There you go. Okay, I'm gonna let it drain. In the meanwhile, what you can do is I'm gonna turn you this way a little bit. I'm gonna use this to lose the filter. Like that. Okay. Just be careful though. I mean, you don't need this oil filter. Ugh. It's kinda tight here. There you go. Okay. All right, that should do it. Counterclockwise, just a little bit though. So you drain the oil from the filter. All right. And let it drain. Let it drain. Careful though, there's some more in there, I know. Back it up a little bit. So you don't get a splash. Good. That's how it looks like. This is from the dealership, okay. Now here, I'm gonna wipe this where the oil filter sits, wipe it, wipe it down. I'm gonna install the new filter. As you see, the new oil filter comes with a dry gasket or or oil ring. We're gonna look it with the same oil, just like that. Uh, we'll put it on. Put it on, tight it, snug it by hand. Don't use any tools because you might puncture the oil filter. And then you're gonna have you're gonna have big problems. All right, so. I think we drain most most of the oil, right? Now we're gonna put the uh, oil drain plug back. 
tighten it with the 14 millimeter wrench or socket, whatever you're using. I'm using a socket. I'm using a 3 8 ratchet, 3 8 socket, 14 millimeter, shallow socket. Okay, and that's it. Now we're gonna pull back the cover with the eight clips. And proceed to uh, pour the new oil, which is gonna be full synthetic in the engine. All right, let's get it. All right, we're here, put the funnel there. All right, and this one is gonna take, you see it right here. 0W20, that's full synthetic oil, okay? Now the book says five and a quarter, 5.5, five quarts. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pour four, four and a half first. You just come with me, I'll show you how to do it, come. Uh, do me a favor, what you're gonna do is pinch this line, this holes, okay? Because if you pour the oil too fast in here, it might overflow and it's going to come and end up in the end intake. All right. But if you pour the oil slowly, then you shouldn't have no problems. Okay. I just want to, that's a side note. So I'm going to pour four, four and a half quarts first. CRW20, full synthetic oil. All right. All right. That's four and a half quarts. Okay. Four and a half quarts. I'm going to take this out, put the cap back, I'm not even going to tie it that much. And I'm going to start the car now. Okay, so the car is running right now. I'm going to let it idle for a minute. What I'm going to do is I'm going to check the other fluids. fluids. Always check, you know, the other fluids, okay? Since you're down here, might as well, all right? All right, the car being running for a minute. I'm gonna shut it down. All right. Uh, this car, by the way, has 5,000 miles. All right. Give it a minute so the oil drop. You know, most of the oil drop in the oil pan. All right. Let's pull this oil dipstick. Wipe it. Let's check the level. All right, let me show you this. So right now, the oil is right here. It's supposed to be here. Okay, right where it says. Look like a Roman one or I. I don't know why it's not focused. It's supposed to be here. Oil is right here. You see it, right? So I'm gonna pour another half. Because so far I pour four and a half, right? So if I poured another half, that would be five quarts in total. That's what I'm gonna do. Slowly, okay. I should do it. Now let's check it. Let's see. Yeah, five. right here it's right there where it has to be okay so it's gonna be five quarts full synthetic zero w20 okay put everything back put Gucci here and we're done let's reset the oil life 
All right, here. Step on the brake pedal. Press the start button. Car is running right now. All right. Okay, that was too much air. Okay, here. What we're gonna use is these commands, buttons, whatever you wanna call it. Forget about this. Now here, you see all that. We're gonna scroll to the right or left, but we're gonna go right. You see it? Music, no. There, no. We're gonna go to the gear. Then we're gonna scroll down. Also, you can check the air pressure here, TPMS. Go enter with OK. Oh, that's just the pressure. I mean, the. Never mind. So, let me take it back. We're going to go to the gear, scroll down, go vehicle maintenance or maintenance, press OK. Click OK, oil on oil control system. Now there, it tells you. If you want to reset it, press OK, press OK. Scroll down, confirm, confirm, reset, yes. Pow, there you go. Now we're going to back it up. That, that's how you reset the oil life. Now we're going to back it up. This is how you back it up. Let's check the other one. The other. This is how you set the, the mileage for the service. Press OK. Now scroll up. I don't know, I think it's 8,000 for 8,000 kilometers is 5,000 miles, okay? So press OK again, and there you set it up. Now back it up, and that's it. You can do the same for tires, and let's say you want to use the other option for transmission fluid, or maybe Kevin nail filter or engine nail filter, All right? That's pretty much it. That's how you reset the oil life. Just go over there, press OK button, scroll down, press OK. That's how you reset it. All right. Thank you for watching, guys. It was and me. And I'm going to leave it right here. Thank you for watching. Highlight your boy. as two. I'm clacking now. Out. Yeah. Shoutouts to my viewers and subscribers. Thank you for the love. Hana.